Saturday Night Live. We used to launch careers. Now we just sustain them. And kind of kill them too. Yeah. Not very, not very, not very funny show. No. Unfortunately. Sometimes though. Sometimes, yeah, it is a funny show. Well, I mean, that's that. That's just how it is, right? Like, <laughs> the, the, what are what are the odds that every single sketch you make is off, especially when they only have a week to prep? I don't know. That's kids with problems. Oh! 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 What the oh! fuck? What the oh! fuck? Got you, buddy. Yeah, you fucking Bro, asshole, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know what? But also sometimes I'm not going to lie and I don't, I don't want to sound like, I don't want to sound like a, a Debbie Downer, but I watch some of those old SNL sketches, like the classics and I don't think they're very funny and everyone around me is like, oh, oh, you know? Yeah. Well, I think it's like different humor at the time. That's, it's like, uh, it's just nostalgic. Yeah. Like one of the, one of the prime examples is, uh, Jim Carrey comedies for example like Jim Carrey type comedies the slapstick humor and all that those have kind of fallen out of fashion and these used to be popular and they still also tried to make like those weird concept like 90s Jim Carrey movies like Liar Liar they made Yes Man didn't do well and like you can't say Liar Liar is like a great film compared to Yes Man I think they're both there's a lot of weird Jim Carrey like 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 uh I love you man that's where he goes to jail no, that's I love Philip Seymour Hoffman. No, it's I love Philip Morris. Yes, I, I love you, Philip Morris. Some shit like Something that. Something like that, remember. where he goes to jail. I love you, man. Is the one with um Paul Rudd and what's his name? How I Met Your Mother, man. And he was also in the Muppets movie. Oh, kinda Philip looks, Seymour Hoffman looks like a Muppet. No, uh, Neil Patrick Jason. Harris. Neil Patrick. Harris? No, no, the one that Neil Patrick Hoffman. The big, the big doofy one. The big doofy one. Yeah. Jason. And I've never seen How I Met Your Mother. I think his name's Jason. How do you? What is How I Met Your Mother? What's? Wait, what is? What is the premise of that stupid show? How I Met Your Mother. And that's exactly the premise. Is that really the? How, premise how did of you? Show? Dedu- how did you deduce that? I just man? had you know. I've been, I've been I've been thinking lately. I've been working on my brain. My brain juices. I'm getting them flowing more. People were upset with the finale of How I Met Your Mother. Yeah. How I Met Philip Seymour Hoffman. <laughs> how did? How? What, what was the finale? Shitty. Uh, I mean, I didn't watch the show. Give me a review. I, I only know about it because people bitch about it online. <laughs> we should. We so should. like that's that's what I know about the plot. My mom watched it every now and then. I think like, or it was just on TV sometimes. I had a. I just had an idea for a show we could do. It's a. Sh- it's like a show where you and I watch the first and the last episode of a TV show without ever seeing anything in between, and then try to. Then try to f- sit down and figure out the like what what happened in between. That would ruin so many it. shows. We'd have to do just bad shows. Yeah, well, like because I, I wouldn't like imagine ruining Breaking Bad or even a movie like the first and last scene. Because Breaking Bad, if you see the opening or like the first episode, and then you see the last episode, I bet you could. You're gonna miss out on, of course, all the little details where you're gonna be like, okay, so he. Spoilers. So you kind of spoilers, oh, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'll bleep it. He becomes a drug lord. Yeah. Dude, I he was always a drug lord at I, heart, though. I can't that's believe, the, I can't believe you would spoil that he becomes a drug lord. <laughs> not cool, man. I'm rewatching it right now. Really? I'm still not at that point where I it has. I have to be like, I feel like it has to be longer for some reason. Yeah, I just figured, I was like, yeah, I'm bored. I'll, I'll do it. I'm season three. Although it's been like, what, six years since I saw the finale? Oh, dude, then you're good, man. Six. I rewatched it last year, too. <laughs> I The last time I saw it was uh, when it aired. It still holds up. Of course. Like, I I still have it. I'm having a great time watching it. I remember binging that. I think I was going on, like, a Disney trip with my mom and my girlfriend was was coming along with, you know, just as a third wheel. (laughs) And uh, she was the third wheel. Yeah. (laughs) And uh, I, I think, yeah, I just I started binging it on an iPad during that road trip. Yeah. Yeah. I remember we're going to Disney Disney World with a a family friend, uh, just me and him. And uh, well, the, the thing, the funny thing was, I thought it was my uncle. He was not my uncle, um, but that's for a story for another day. But I went on a a family trip with some friends, some family friends to Disney World, and um, that's my story. I had a great time. That's perfect, man. Thanks, man. Okay, so... uh, Someone animate that one. (laughs) 
<laughs> you know, this one time I went to Disney clip that with one. a family friend. Clip, clip that shit. one, guys. Matt's, Matt's, <laughs> Matt's Disney World story. It's one time I went uh, to Disney World with my family and my family friends. Matt's crazy Disney World story. Clip that one, guys. I, I want the, hi- the clip channels, the highlight ones to be like, like, we make a crazy thumbnail. It's like Matt's crazy Disney World story. We don't really have like a highlights, highlights channel. Like we do, we have a channel that uploads a highlight every now and then, but we don't have like a dedicated like highlights channel like streamers have. Yeah. Well, well, also like we don't have a video portion, so it's hard to like just clip audio and have that be entertaining. But for some reason, people come back to watch it. We got to do what every big video podcast does, where it's like, Anytime you mention something topical, we'll cut that as a clip. So, like, let's let's say we'll start doing that too. You'll we're go, you know we're going to start doing that. Ryan McGee on the election. Yeah, Watch. super me- super mega's take on the election. You're a prophet. Am I a prophet? Yeah, I'll be dressed in like a suit, and I'll have like a my I'll I'll have dyed my hair gold, not blonde, gold. Okay, okay, I'll be silver. Okay, the gold, I'll dye I'll dye my uh beard gold too that would look really sick i just have a gold hair like picture that just like not even blonde just gold like yeah like your hair is legitimately like like golden yeah like it looks golden that's like some shit you'd unlock in a video game after tw- 10 hours of grinding like oh i got the golden hair it's kind of what i unlocked and that's something you would definitely of thieves yeah that's that i something mentioned I last you podcast get. how have you been playing more sea of thieves i have yeah i'm thinking of streaming more of it <gasps> i know no crazy I enjoy, I, I, I thought that I was going to be bored of it. Like once I got pirate Lord and leveled up and got what I needed to get or whatever in terms of cosmetics, but I'm still having a good, good old time. Good old spanking time. Yeah. We, uh, cause usually I sail with like Kelly and Justin and one of her friends, whether it's Frank Who's Justin or Joe. Oh well, yeah. Frank's my friend too. Joe's also, you know. She's not really my friend. I hate her. I hate her fucking guts. Joe? Hope she never hears this. Is this a real person? <laughs> what? Is this yes. a real person? Oh. I saw jo- Joseph in the Technicolor Dreamcoat as a field trip in school. What is that? It's a play. It's a musical about Joseph and his Technicolor Dreamcoat. And, uh... It, <laughs> yeah? It, it, it was so bad, dude. I, it was just such a boring fucking Technicolor play. Technicolor what? Dreamcoat. Dream coat. You know what? You've heard of this, right? No. Joseph and his Technicolor dream coat? I've never heard of this what? shit. This is new to me. Dude, Joseph from the Bible and his coat of a million different colors. Technicolor. It's Technicolor. I'm not bullshitting you. Unless I'm getting the name completely wrong and this is just... Joseph's te- Technicolor dream coat? Joseph and the amazing Technicolor dream coat. Wait, Joseph- Coat or code? Coat. Joseph Tech... So he has like a jacket. That's Technicolor. It, dude, I forgot this shit existed. Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, musical by Tim Rice. Uh, what is the even plot of this? I saw this and this shit sucked. Like, this shit was just so boring. But there was this one, I was in elementary school, and there was this woman that was in it. And she was she was a goddamn sexy bitch. Damn. And I remember just, I, I it sexually awakened me. Um, let me just see what it's about. The show has only a few lines of spoken dialogue. It's almost entirely sung through. I'm sure that was fun as yeah, a kid. Very. I don't understand what I'm not. I don't want to read the fucking acts like Act One, Act Two. Isn't there like a synopsis on Wikipedia or yeah, something but it's you so can find? Long. Well, then you don't have to read it. Then it's fine. I'm thinking about reading the whole thing. Maybe. No, you can if you hey, dude, want. It's won some awards. It's got a, a film starring Danny Osmond. Uh, it, Danny Elfman. It just wasn't very good. I I thought I was bored by it. I thought it was a damn boring play. And I, you know, I'm not afraid to say it. You know, I'll come out there and publicly say Joseph and his stupid Technicolor dream coat was a bad play. <laughs> that Sorry. You? No, I was just thinking of a world where like I was excited because I like wasn't doing much outside of Super Mega or anything. So I decided to be in a play called Joseph and his amazing Technicolor dream coat. But you were keeping it a secret? No, now that I hear that you hate it, I'd keep it a secret. 100%. But you're like... I'd never invite you into hearing what you just said about it. What you, what you wanted to, like... You're, what, pl- you're playing Joseph? Yeah, but just imagine I was, like, I was going to invite you. That's, like, a big surprise, like, hey, man. And now hearing I this... Wanna show, I like, want to show, <sighs> show you something about myself. And you'd, and, and you'd never see it. 
because I'd be too embarrassed. And you go on to win like a Tony and everything, <laughs> and you just have to keep it a secret from me because you're just so ashamed. Why don't we just put on a... Okay, so you know how schools can put on like a like a licensed play? A licensed play? Yes. So when schools yes. put on plays, like I think they, they have, have to, to like, license it. So yeah. like when my elementary school put on the Jungle Book, I remember they had to license it. And they had these like official script books that were like from a company. Like, which is stupid. Could we, could we technically just like license a play and put it on? Could, could you and I just license like a, why, why wouldn't we write our own play? Because dude, I would rather license it because that's a, that's a lot easier. Not if, what if, what if I want to put on Joseph in the amazing Technicolor dream coat? Do you think it would be possible if like you, you and I like got a general idea down and we got actors and stuff, but we told everyone this is just a giant improv show and and we could trick the audience to thinking it was a scripted play we wrote, but we were just fucking just ham fisting. They're like, it felt so raw. We're, we're just hoping that the actors are good enough. It just felt like I was there. Like felt like they were coming up with it on the spot. Didn't yeah. feel, I couldn't see the words on the script. And, we're just, and we only ever do free, one, free form of we ever do one showing and it's just amazing. So it's always just known in history. It's like <laughs> they wrote the most incredible play. Wow. And never did it again. Did it again. But <laughs> little do they know. Reminds me of a, shit. that wonderful Nathan for you where he uh, has to make, what is it? To, to be able to smoke inside a bar that he has to, he staged it to be like, Oh, a so play. it's like a, like a, like a play. <laughs> yeah. Like, like the characters are smoking. <laughs> he has a new video that just came out. That's uh, it's like him. Uh, it's like a nine minute thing where it's a promo for that new show. How to with John Wilson, which he's the producer of, mm -hmm. uh, which I watched the first episode of. And it's funny, but it's just this video about Nathan Fielder running like a TikTok house. <laughs> with all these like young like 17 year old like boys wait really and it's really really funny i watched it last night before i went to bed <laughs> dude you you've been you've been on tiktok a lot more haven't you i have not actually not at all no no i thought you made an account and shit i, I never went on oh you did after i did that because you've been recognizing songs from tiktok well it's because i jackson and everyone i always hear tiktok around me yeah, and I and I, people always text me TikTok, so I'll like click it and watch it. So I send you some every now and then. I like the ones of Jacob Sartorius. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. What a character! He's, he's really are. he's really into smoking weed now. It's, he really likes smoking weed. Yeah. Yo, man, I was high as fuck the other night. <laughs> who who could have predicted that uh, an asshole teenager would have turned out to be an asshole adult? Oh, dude. Isn't he eighteen now? He's eighteen now. Yeah. yeah. So he's just. A, we could say he, what. Dude, so he's just an asshole now. We could. So say now, now it's not. Oh, you can't just. He's a kid. Do you? Could you imagine if you were his age? Now we can just be like he's an. He's he's just a pretentious douche. If I was his age and had like seven million dollars, wow, I can't I'd probably imagine. be a pretentious douche too. If I like got. As famous as he he did at his age, doing what he did. Hey man, watch out for those. Guys. I made it sound like he 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 like started up like on a pole or something. Oh, dude, I think he's an innovator. He was on was it musically and then Vine or Vine and then musically and then just I think it was he, musically he took the, the world he took the world by storm, man. I don't know, man. How come they haven't made a documentary about Jacob Sartorius? You know, Justin Bieber has like what two fucking documentaries there will be a already. Movie. It'll be a biopic about Jacob Sartorius. Lady Gaga has a doc. No, Katy Perry had a documentary. Remember when that was the popular thing? The three D documentaries that would come out like about Michael Jackson or Katy Perry or Why Justin the fuck Bieber. Three D. I don't know, but do you remember that? I shit? do. Yeah. You don't see those anymore. You don't see like featuring this concert in three D. Don't you want to see Billie Eilish in three D? <laughs> Why don't they just like go to the see the concert? Why? Why? I don't want to go sit. In a, I did see This Is It in theaters. Michael Jackson. <laughs> I saw that in theaters. I know a lot of people. A lot of moms did. I well, I, I went. I went it. with my friend's mom and and my friend. I saw the Justin Bieber documentary in in theaters. Never, really? Never seen it. The one where he's wearing purple. Yeah, no, I remember that one. Yeah. That was his look for a while, was the flippy brown hair and then the, the purple jacket hoodie. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't you couldn't go wrong with that look. Did no. you ever see This Is It? The Michael Jackson one? Because it came out after he died. Dude, as a kid, I was always creeped out by Michael Jackson. So I couldn't... Take it back. I couldn't develop this, uh, this love, I guess, for him. Because, like, 
I don't know. I like I, I heard his music and like I have an affinity for his music because I didn't know, you know, who he was at the time I was listening to it. Um, but like whenever I would see him on TV and he would talk, I would just be like, what the fuck is is going on? Here's the thing, y'all. Regardless of, of where you stand on if on, on if he did it or not. The no, he acted weird. The man was creepy. He taught. I, I know like unfortunate. That's probably an unfortunate byproduct of like his upbringing. Yeah. But like from my perspective as a kid. I'm just saying how I felt at the time. No, it dude, was Michael creepy. Jackson was creepy. There's no, there's uh, there's no way around it. You can't be like, no, he was beautiful. <laughs> he 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 had a beautiful voice. Beautiful, so and, talented. And if the allegations are false, then he had a beautiful soul, a beautiful childlike soul. But he's still creepy. He still acted in a creepy manner. I'm not gonna say he was inherently a creepy dude. Well, but he acted in a creepy way. I don't know, maybe at, from a kid's perspective, yeah. at least from little boy Ryan's perspective. This and even now, I feel like if I hung around him, I'd feel uneasy. This is my but luckily, we Ryan. don't have. To, I mean, not luckily. I mean, like we're not having to be put in that situation. Not. I mean, our, our are managers we, we, are we, forcing us to hang out with Michael Jackson's <laughs> hologram. <laughs> Dude, Kanye West did a hologram of Kim Kardashian's father and was like, "Hey, Kim, it's your dad. Happy birthday." You know. I wish I could have seen you grown up all these years. It's just like, I'm at, I'm at, like I wish like, could you imagine if like one you, you, one of your parents dies and as a gift to you, I like act in it so it's like my voice, but it's like a hologram of your dad is like, hey champ, you fucking fairy, I miss you so much. It's just like the old time. <laughs> I really, uh, I want, my favorite thing is that because Kanye got it for her at the very end, he's like. And think about how crazy it is. You're married to the most successful man on the planet. Oh, didn't he? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, so, like, like, I know that's Kanye probably like, ah, oh, this is a funny little joke. But it's No, like, I don't think he thinks it's a funny joke. I true, think he's like, true. she needs to realize that I'm the most genius on the planet. So I'm going to use a hologram of, that is just fucking Black Mirror psycho, like, manipulative shit. I know it, it probably comes, because... Let's be honest. He's not a super villain. Kanye West probably has like a like like us. He thinks like a child. You know, he works in the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. so at least we have that in common. Yeah. Very childlike way of thinking. So, you know, it's like oh, I he's in a hologram of his dad, and then he gets a little jealous. He's like, oh man, her dad looks handsome in this hologram. Maybe I uh, maybe I need to remind her who she's married to. I don't know. He gets jealous of like the fucking dead dad's hologram. Yeah, oh my he's god, the most successful man on the. History of the of the face of the earth, dude. I, I'm I'm actually I just got like a wave of panic and and, and anxiety thinking about like I saw that on your face. If this if this clip ever were to like grace the ears of a Kardashian and they like called it out, I I delete shit. my I delete my Twitter, dude. We would I delete my Instagram. We would just be absolutely. I would go offline. But you still find me on Twitch. <laughs> nah, dude. I might. What would you do? Would you just be like, ha ha, take, if the Kardashians take it. called us out? And sent a wave of people going oh, like, man. how dare you speak about my dead hologram father like this? Probably he looked to, handsome. I try to, I'd try to have some fun with it, maybe. <sighs> I think I'd just be too anxious. It's not gonna... What if they... What, dude, the Kardashians are rich enough to fucking put a hit on you. They could... You know, if politicians can kill people for political purposes, I'm sure the Kardashians can kill you for petty purposes. Do you think they've had people killed? The Kardashians? Kardashians of like... I mean, they're like, dude. In a way, they did through their family lineage of defending OJ Simpson. I, I wish that in the hologram, he was like, <laughs> and by the way, OJ is innocent. Oh my, dude, that would have been big. Can or I what if he used it as like a campaign ad at the same time for like Kanye 2020, 2024? You're maybe? married to the future president of the United States, Kim. <laughs> you will be the first lady. Just, I just. He went on Joe Rogan, you you know that recently, like a few weeks ago. Kanye. Yeah, and it's just like God gave him a vision in a shower to be leader of the free world. And you think that's crazy? No. I mean, if you look at if you honestly, if you look at the history of people who have run this country, it's 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 what I don't, I don't think it's us taking a hit in any What do you mean? No, dude. The, what what about the presidents whose teeth were falling out and they'd use the the teeth of their fucking slaves? I really They were good men. <laughs> you got to respect them. I don't care what side you're on. That was the president. 
I don't I know he owned slaves and had and and had a lot of, you know, you know, affairs with slaves outside of his marriage, but you need to understand he's the president, so you got to respect that. Exactly. And let's let's not even talk about the 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 American president who incinerated a Japanese civilian population. No. But that son of a bitch Obama, Barack Hussein Obama, had that that goddamn tan suit on, <laughs> that goddamn Muslim. Of all the fucking things Fox could get him on, I don't know. I feel like they should have focused more on the dr- on the politics of the drone strike shit. But I guess maybe they're pro war. They probably did. That's but like they drone strike too. But what? That's because like Republicans drone strike just the same. Yeah, well, everyone. That's, a, that's well, an issue. That's a wartime that drone striking brown people is an issue they can agree on. Yeah, true. That's something they can come to some some middle ground on. So, yeah, you know. Well, I feel like they did call them out on everything, probably too. Like I, I don't have a a, a a stream in my head of. I don't watch Fox News to begin with, so I'm probably. Don't I, lie. Every time I'm, I come I'm, over, I'm you throwing have it on stones. Three different st- screens. You one in the living room, one in your bedroom, and one in your game. Room. Probably, I see Fox News. Probably a very nice, uh, wonderful news source. I'm sure, like like everyone is. I go to Newsmax now for my news. <laughs> I go to uh, the Daily Wire. No, I go to the Daily Beast for my for my daily news. Dude, I'm going beast mode right now. <laughs> Dude, are you are you going beast mode? No, right actually, now? I get updated through the Stuckman newsletter. <laughs> Once a once a week, Chris Stuckman types up a uh, <laughs> of, a uh, recap of the world news from his perspective. <laughs> Could you, dude? I wish. Yeah. So, this week in the Middle East, why isn't he streaming? Does he stream? He probably watches Netflix. If he streams, he shouldn't stream video games. He should stream himself just commentating on things on the internet. I'd love to watch a... I feel like that's where he'd shine. A stream of, like, Chris uh, Stuckman just, like, browsing bestgore.com and yeah. just, like, commentating on it. Like, <laughs> oh, man, he got too close to that generator. <laughs> wouldn't 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 want to do that one. <laughs> what, what, oh, oops. He's a tall motherfucker. I saw him once at a con. How I've said this before. He? Like, like over six foot. I just remember he he's, he's a big dude. He, hey, Siri, how tall is Chris Stuckman? God damn it! it, it you just, gotta ask it. Like I asked, but it it decided to ignore yeah, me. Yeah, it does that. Don't Google it. Just you know how 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 tall is, is Baron Trump? That's the first thing that comes up. And I'm an epic five eleven, dude. Baron Trump. When's the last time you saw a seventh grader that's like six four? Baron Trump is so tall. How tall is Chris Stuckman? Sorry, I got. We all know there was that one tall fucking kid though in our school, right? Yeah, yes, dude. There was also that kid, sometimes it'd be the same one, but that kid that in like seventh grade looked like he was 30. Mm-hmm. Like he'd have like a fuck, his jaw would be fucking a square. What? No, I just, I, the, the Chris Stuckman Wikipedia page came up first and uh, there's a section like below where it's like the tiny little facts. Yeah. And I misread total views for net worth and it said 582 million. And I was like, <gasps> holy shit. But like how tall is it? 6'4". Yeah, he's a tall dude. That's I'm really telling tall. you. When I saw him, I was like, holy fuck. My brother-in-law is 6'5", and he's, uh, you met him. He's 6'5", and he's skinnier than me. And it's like, he's a skinny dude. Taking shots? No, Are you gonna no, fight him no, 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 no. During the holidays no. now? No, I, well, I'm Something not going on? see him on the holidays. I was, but now, uh, yeah. But this is this is my chance to bulk up. So next time I see him, I can really kick his ass. True. Right now it's it's like two stick bugs fighting. Yeah, like, you know. But and the next time you see him, which will probably be mid next year. <laughs> yeah. Right. When all this is done. Fingers crossed, man. Baby, let's get that vaccine, baby. Let me suck that shit down, man. Put it in a baby bottle, stick it up my ass. I don't care. Just get that vaccine in my bloodstream. Full blast, baby. Full blast. I will boof the vaccine, dude. Me I too. will drink a glass. I'd of love it. to boof the vaccine. That's the best. That's a way way more direct shot to your blo- like line to your bloodstream. And I and I don't like needles. You don't like needles, so why not do that? It's why can't they just like? Put it in like a liquid form, maybe like even like 
put it in like everyone gets a fucking like make it a fun, funny little thing. Come on. Give everyone a Corona beer with the Corona vaccine in it. And then people could like fucking butt chug it and get it instantly. Because you know how you know how instantly you become drunk. Oh, butt yeah. Chug something. Yeah. I mean, I've never done it, but yeah, I saw Steve-O do it. Yeah, dude, th- that would be so funny if they got Corona beer to sponsor the, the virus, not the virus, to sponsor the vaccine. Yeah. And then dude, the vaccine, like the the, sh- the shot looks like a tiny little Corona bottle with the logo on it. Yep. And, and you go, so you, you, can, have, you, you can, have some fun with you it. You can suck it up. You can you can. You can put it in your bum. You can put it in. Those are the two ways. You can put it up your ass, or you can you can suck it up. Most people choose uh, sucking it up, but I'm going to be one of the people that's going to be first in line for putting it up the ass. I just feel like inserting something into my ass when my friends are circled around me is. I guess people like when people butt chug. Is it like oh we're, we're going to stick a bottle in our friend's ass? I think it's. I think it's a. I think it's more of a funny thing than a. Uh, like a hey guys, you want to get drunk? Okay. But like, but like, even so, your asshole has to dilate a good bit for that bottle to even get in there a little. Not bit. a huge amount. Like more than your average. Like, well, think about when you take a shit. Think about the shit is soft. It's not. It's not glass. Not Matt. for everyone. It's not. A, it's not solid like glass. Glass retains all of its fucking structure. I promise you, I could stick a Corona bottle in my ass. No, we all could. I'm saying that like. Sticking a solid object in your ass is a lot different than poop coming out of your ass. That's true. I, and I get I get nervous at the you know the that's why people have glass to, in my ass. That's why people have to use butt plugs. I get very nervous. They wear them out. You've seen you've seen them all. All these people in fucking uh, Hollywood, these liberals in, with their fucking butt plugs. You know all these boys in skirts wearing their like Rick and Morty butt plugs these in California. Their, no, my dad used to wear when we go out, and I I remember you could see it through the pants a little bit. It's more the idea of inserting glass into my ass, you know, like seen that video. Of course, I've seen that video. <laughs> okay, okay, we've all seen that video. <laughs> oh, that's the name I, a shock video. I've probably seen it. <sighs> have my, you seen the one where the dude like he lived what's, though? The have you seen the sandbox one? Yes, I've seen. That. Oh, that one I've sucks. Seen that one too. How? I don't know how. I don't want to know how. I I. <sighs> Dude, those things. See, I was like, stick with you. I was BME and 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 uh, two girls, one cup, and then I was and okay, and then Mr. Hands, and then I was out. Oh, the BME Pain Olympics. Yeah, that was like my first one. Yeah, my first one was uh, I think Lemon Party. Was that actually real or did it prove to be fake? The Pain Olympics. Yeah. No, nah, I think it's really a dude cutting his God. his pork and beans up. With <laughs> oh damn, poor guy. Well, I mean, he's the one that did it. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. He's. I don't think he's really, uh, you know, too uh, too upset about it because he he thought it would be funny for some internet points. You know, it was shocking. It was very shocking. I was like, damn, he really be cutting off his penis. I know, dude. Chopping. Sorry, he was he was chopping off his penis. He was having fun with it, man. Wasn't he like? Was it real though? I don't know. How would you be able to get past the pain? Like the like imagine like. Picture real quick being kicked in the nuts. Now picture cutting your balls off and like ha- like fucking hacking away at it. Maybe you could take something. Maybe you could numb yourself up. BME pain Olympics. Real. I got I got I got to see this now. Is it real? Well, I'm I'm looking it up. What are, what are people saying? Check Snopes, dude. Much of the video was fake. Some of the amputation was real though. What? I don't understand how. Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's okay, see. Okay. There's a Wikipedia page. Shannon Lorat, uh was the creator, former editor, and publisher of BME Zine, an online magazine for coverage of extreme body modifications. I'm just looking up a uh, real quick uh, the 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 penis video. Oh, this is a long Wikipedia page. I I can't find it. Can you just do BME Pain Olympics? Real Wikipedia. I looked at I looked up oh. BME Pain Olympics real and it was just a bunch of garbage. If, if anyone knows, yeah. what the guy's listening right now, maybe he's a big fan of Super Mega. True, you know. Meat Spin was actually the first one I probably saw. Meat Spin doesn't count. That's just kind of like a oh, dude. Oh man, <laughs> it's just you yeah, two hundred spin. Me right, <laughs> Duh, how did you get up to five hundred spins, dude? I then Lemon Party. Remember Lemon Party? Yeah, that one. That one's. I, I'd say that one's worse than. 
Dude, meat spin's not even, I well, would say, even party close to that. It's just a bunch of old men sucking each other off. Yeah, that one's funny, too. <laughs> you know what one was bad? That was Blue Waffle. That's disgusting. That one was, that was, that was like the first one. I, I was think. in high school, I think, when that was going I on. I was young and, and it's like, oh, look up Blue Waffle. And I was like, oh, <laughs> Blue Waffle. And I was, I, that was probably the first picture I ever saw of a vagina, so. What? That, that really freaked in me out, In high school? No, 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 dude. Blue Waffle's old. Is it? Yeah. Very old. Fuck, maybe I, I can't remember, dude. Shit's disgusting. Sometimes I mix time frames. And then from there, my, uh. Sensitivity to the internet only got better. Well, yeah, yeah, because they had sites started to be dedicated to that, and they had um even subreddits dedicated to that, but not any. Well, R slash super mega. Yeah, you know, you know how it is. But there, yeah, there's a there's a lot of there's actually a Wikipedia page for shock videos. So we should all uh we should do a live stream. We just watch them all. Okay, See, we can live stream on Pornhub. How quickly would we get banned on Pornhub? Not on Pornhub. Mm, if it's gore stuff, probably you can get banned. Oh, you're right. Is there no like? F- I don't think there's gore on free Pornhub. stream site. Is there a way you could just stream yourself on the internet watching yeah, it? Then? Use your just use your uh your own website. Yeah, come to supermegashow.net <laughs> where we'll be uh running the gauntlet. And oh, also thank you to everyone who uh decided to purchase some merch for their for their Black Friday. Thank you guys. Christmas gift type for real. Stuff. The support is immaculate we worked very hard on this merch and seeing you guys uh enjoy it so much got us really excited to do more in the future uh so keep your eyes peeled and uh all of that should be shipping out soon and if you have any questions about the merch uh respond to the email that second city prints sent with your email like your order confirmation yeah and if for some reason you didn't get that then you can email orders at secondcityprints.com uh, and they will be, uh, they're helping us out with the customer service and the, the shipping because two years ago we did it on our own and very quickly realized that Whew. that was very hard. A lot of work, a lot, a lot of work that, especially around the holiday seasons, we don't have time for cause we're too busy being epic, too busy filming videos, too busy playing video games. Fuck yeah. Too busy reading our lines for Joseph and the amazing Technicolor dream <laughs> And too busy watching the BME Pain Olympics all at the same time. I'm too busy reading the Bill of Rights and trying to memorize the Constitution back to front. Read the. Tell me the, what's the preamble. Um, it starts with. <clears throat> sorry, let me clear my throat. All men are epic and created equal under God, and therefore we shall be given land, except for those uh, dirty people who we will enslave. Um, okay. Amen. Right? Yeah. Imagine word for word that. I mean, <laughs> like, would you be surprised? <laughs> no. You, <laughs> like, go to, you go to the Constitution or the Bill of Rights and you read the preamble. You're like, ah, oh, let's see. Uh, let's see what like what 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 kind of inspirational shit there is. And it's just this like tiny little two sentence thing. Like, all men are epic. And <laughs> <laughs> essentially, basically, in like short form, that's that's what it is. Yeah. I had to memorize the preamble in seventh grade and recite it to my teacher. As like some like assignment. Do you still know any of it? No. And uh, do you know any of the Magna Carta? No, I don't know any of the Magna Carta. I don't it's a what, shame. I don't even know what the Magna Carta is. What is the Magna Carta? It's kind of like the not precursor. Is I it guess like, precursor to the Constitution. Is it like they like what what they wrote? They were like, we're gonna go. These are the rules. Like when they first got here, and then they, you know, they uh, evolved it. Like think of Pokemon into the Constitution or mm-hmm. some shit like that. Okay. Then they really put an Everstone on the Constitution. I I really... God's in the Constitution, so he's real. <sighs> Sorry. Shit. Then why did they... So so if God's not real, then why did they mention him in the Constitution? Damn it. Anyways, go on, Matt. Like a debate on stage. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> You're right. <sighs> I, had to, I had to memorize the preamble, and I remember I went up and I sat down in front of my, my teacher in her little trailer, and she was... <laughs> Bill Mann, the Christian man, versus Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> Bill Nan, the Christian man, Bill <laughs> Nye, the science guy. It's perfect. But basically, I, I got so nervous. I said the first, I was like, we the, we the peep. Oh. I got so nervous. And she's like, Matthew, go sit down at your desk. You take, you take a, you take a minute to catch your breath. And then you come back and do it again. And I was like, <gasps> Okay. <laughs> so I went back down to my desk and, and then she called me back up. She's like, Matthew, go eat a banana because 
Bananas contain a chemical that will calm your nerves. So Potassium? I, did, I don't know. And I did. I remember in, in uh, Honey, I Shrunk Ourselves, they had to feed the big kid a big banana. So he was a normal sized kid. It was a normal sized banana, but they were small. So they were big. That's right. Yeah. But I ate then the they, Then the sister had to like force, force him to chew. Uh-huh. You remember that scene? Passed out on the kitchen floor? I don't remember shit? that specific scene, to be honest. Mm. Uh, it's unfortunate. It's a beautiful scene. No, I know. It, I'm sure it sounds like a beautiful scene. It sounds very touching, very moving. <laughs> but I did. I, I went back and I read the preamble like six out of ten. So I ended up doing it. You got a six out of ten? That's a 60. That's an F. I don't know why that's an F because six out of ten is more than half. Six out of Failing should be anything below half. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they don't want stupid people running this country. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, 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 uh oh. oh, oh. Dude, sound the alarms. Uh oh. I don't. The I, stupid alarm. I don't get why sixty nine was an F in South Carolina. Like, bro, that's seven tenths. Like of. Oh yeah, seventy is well, not anymore. They changed it, they, right? Yeah, a little bit, I think. Nine. Okay, ninety to one hundred. Right. Okay. Then eighty to nine. 80 to 89 or 79 to 80 to 89 but when we were in school remember it was like 93 was the last chance was the a, a yeah. 85 was the last way to get a b. b and it's like 69 that's still seven tenths of 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 100 that's like 75 was a d right yeah is it a c now or is it still a d i don't they should just go by the 10 points i always know that no 80 79 is a d dude i love because 80 c is the last c right i think so so d is 70 to 79 yeah but failing is still 60? 69, 69 yeah. and under. I always say, why don't they have E as a grade? A, B, C, D, F? Go straight to F, come on. Why? Why? why where, where's the E? Where, where did E go? Huh? Tell uh, me that. I, I can, like, pull back. Your foreskin? Yeah, I can. I don't have foreskin. That's a shame. Yeah. You can pull back what, though? Uh, I forgot. Something I was I was go, I was reaching into my childhood. I was grabbing that sucker by his polo shirt and his and his pocket watch necklace that he wore for a week in elementary school for some reason. That's badass, man. I know. That's I why I wore it. Some, I got something for you to reach into. Your pants? This big bag of ad reads. You know what makes this time of year truly wonderful, McGee? Music. Yep. And the music I'm getting is holiday music on Amazon Music. Whoa! <laughs> like, like what? Like my favorite mediocre rap album, Ouch, by Matt Watson. Ooh. Now, if you haven't tried Amazon Music before, for a limited time, you can get your first three months of Amazon Music Unlimited for free. That's access to more than 70 million songs on demand and ad free. Play the songs you want when you want free for three months. Alexa, play Temperature by Sean Paul. That's right. You can listen to whatever you want, whenever you want on Amazon Music. You can play Mariah Carey on repeat long into 2021 if that's your jam. And you want to stream free? Amazon Music's got you covered. Da Alexa, turn it up. Download the app to get access to millions of podcast episodes at no charge, plus thousands of music stations and top playlists. Listen at home or wherever you are. Your holidays will be merrier with fun, festive tunes. Remember, for a limited time, new subscribers can get three months of Amazon Music Unlimited for free. Go to Amazon.com slash Supermega. That's Amazon.com slash Supermega to get your first three months of Amazon Music for free. Starts at $7.99 a month after. New subscribers only. Terms apply. Offer expires January 11th, 2021. Alexa, shuffle Sean Kingston. Holidays are here, Ryan. Am I wrong? Nope. Have you made your wish list yet? Oh, not yet. I still need to... I, I still need to... Oh, there's one thing I need to add. What is it? D -d 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 Manscaped! Oh, Manscaped is our sponsor today and has the number one most wished for gift of the year for trimming your pubes, ladies and gentlemen. Trimming those pubes and also your nose hairs, but with a separate device because that's gross if you use the same one. Yeah. Manscaped is, as Matt said, it's it's for your pubes. It's for your nether regions. It's it's just a, 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 a decent way to have a razor just for your, your balls and dick. Uh, you can have a, a wonderful shave so it looks presentable uh, at, at the family reunion, at a funeral, you know, a wedding, whatever, whatever. You are in luck, Ryan. The Manscaped Performance Package is the ultimate men's hygiene bundle and makes for the perfect gift. And imagine opening an attractive box that says your balls will thank you. Well, that would be nice. Yeah, it would. Because it includes 
uh, the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, which is waterproof and uses a 9,000 RPM motor-powered 360-degree rotary dual-blade system. What does that mean? That means you're going to get a good shave on those nuts. Yeah, it does. Look, 79% of partners polled admitted that long nose hair is a major turnoff. Why not use the best tools for the job mm -hmm. here? This bundle includes the Lawnmower 3.0 Trimmer, the best trimmer on the market for your balls, butt, and body as well. The dads can't stop talking about this. The teens secretly buy this, and the women will love you for it, and then also to shave their balls and cock. Let's not forget their famous liquid formulations, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner to maximize your ball hygiene routine. Get the performance package now to receive their two free gifts, the Manscaped Boxers and the Shed Travel Bag. The performance package is the best value that Manscaped has to offer and is hot off the shelves. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code SUPERMEGA20 at manscaped.com. Thank you, Manscaped, again for making our holes look sexy and our penises. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code SUPERMEGA20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code SUPERMEGA20. What are you waiting for? Shave those nuts. SUPERMEGA20 at manscaped.com. After this podcast, I'm going to go buy those products. I think I teared up a little bit I did listening too. to some of them as well. And I'll buy those products again and again and again. Yeah, yeah. I've already bought them all several times, as you heard in the ads, but I will buy them again. Yep. Good stuff. Anyway, <laughs> it's December. Um, so it's the last month of 2020. Fuck, it is December 1st. We've entered the last month of 2020. Oh, time has gone by so fast. That's so what she weird. said. Stop it. Sorry. Stop. Sorry. But I, you know, I'm excited that it's the end of 2020. I am, I'm just ready for a brand new, something new, just something new, just a new, a Bugatti. reset. I don't, yeah, a new Bugatti would be cool too. Yeah. You know, but I, I, I know like it's not really, nothing's really going to change when it's 2021, but just being out of 2020 will feel good. Just well, because like, all of 2020 is sent, well, I feel like, okay, we went to Vegas. We went to Universal January, with the boys. Universal with the boys. And then, pfft, Nothing else. Well, Justin came and visited. Yep, with Kelly. So we had a good, we had a good first <clears throat> little, uh, you know. And then the rest of the year was uh, doo doo feces, and you know, yeah. So now, uh, really, it's just it, it's exciting to, because this year's just been a big, a big doo doo sandwich. So big, it's exciting to start something new. Poopy, stinky, stinky. There was doodle stinky. and feces thrown all over the wall. It's disgusting. It really it smears everywhere. So it has a smell. Is it good it's, enough for you? Mm. It has a smell. Oh. I love Michael Jackson, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what? Damn. He's dead. He'd still be coming out with shit. Think about that. Wouldn't he? he? he when, he, when he's old, yeah. Like old people come out with shit all the time. Yeah, dude, he, he'd be like, uh, he'd be 62 this year. You never stop, you never stop being a musician. What would Michael Jackson look like as an old man? You know? Like, like if he, if he'd lived, I wonder what he would have looked like. So wait, was there ever a solidified answer for like, <laughs> like his, his death, skin pigmentation shit? No. It's still just up in the air? Well, he said he had vitiligo, I think is what it's called. But like, is that like, is I don't it just people being think it's mean, confirmed. being like, okay, Michael, or is it like legitimately like, uh, I think, and I might be wrong, but what I think I heard was that, which, which a lot of the times is, is we both are wrong yeah. a lot of the time. Uh, I think that there wasn't any evidence that he had that or something. And more people think that he bleached his skin. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I thought the bleaching skin thing was the rumors like, oh, he bleached his skin. He wanted to be more white. Well, I mean, I could see that fully because i mean like he it, what a transformation of a of a of a person right uh, it's just I, weird there was this one period where it just jumped <laughs> i searched michael jackson's skin and some minecraft skins came up so i know in the next episodes of minecraft i'm just gonna do a different michael jackson skin for like five <laughs> episodes but health and appearance of michael jackson this skin color a... uh let's see Dude, that's a badass outfit, though. When you look, dude, this was the coolest the look for Michael Jackson. The, oh, oh, that one. Where he has, like, the, the one glove. But he already got, like, plastic surgery stuff done. Was yeah. there a reason he got that stuff done other than, like, celebrity? Plastic surgery? Yeah. Insecurity? Did he actually have some sort of medical, or was he? Was it just, like... He no, no, just, no. I mean, insecure. it's just uh, insecurity. You know, the biggest thing I know him for is the uh, is the blanket incident. Oh, look at, look at blanket. Oops. 
Yeah, that one. I know. Uh, from the mid-1980s, Jackson's appearance began to change. Imagine this is about Jackson Tucker. The changes to his face, particularly his nose, triggered widespread speculation of extensive cosmetic surgery and his skin tone became much lighter. He was diagnosed with the skin disorder vitiligo, which results in white patches on the skin and sensitivity to sunlight. To treat the condition, he used fair colored makeup and likely skin whitening prescription creams to cover up the uneven blotches of color caused by the illness. Oh, so he, instead of just being blotchy, he just went fully full white. white. That makes sense, I guess. Okay. Okay. Huh. Uh, yeah, dude, he, he had a, uh, oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. We're all preparing for a series of comeback concerts scheduled to begin in July 29, 20, 2009, 2009. Jackson died of acute propofol and benzodiazepine intoxication after suffering cardiac arrest on June 25th, 2009. His personal physician was convicted of involuntary manslaughter in his death, sentenced to four years in prison. So technically Michael Jackson was murdered? Or no, murder has intent, right? Yeah, he wasn't. He was manslaughter. Because I guess the doctor was giving Michael his milk. That's what he called it. Yeah. And he's like, it's my milk. I need my benzodiazepine. So it's my milk. And then he, uh, you know, ended up, uh, whoop. Because I guess he needed that to sleep. Yeah. Which benzos, that's like Xanax and stuff. So it's like a mixture of drugs. And then his doctor was like, here you go, Michael. Uh-oh. Uh no, Michael. No, not that much, Michael. And uh, unfortunately... Uh, there goes the king of pop, the prince of pop. The doctor's fault. Oh, he went to jail. Yeah. Dude, just imagine being the dude that killed Michael Jackson. No. That's a, that's a heavy can't. weight to shake off your shoulders. I can't imagine. I can't, dude. I never even met the guy. Yeah, so uh, I am actually, you might, you might have heard of me, uh, like on a, on a speed date. <laughs> yeah, so I actually am, I'm a, I'm a doctor for, or I was a doctor first of all. And I'm the, I'm the, I'm, I'm actually Michael Jackson. Well, I was Michael Jackson's. Uh, <laughs> what happened there? Whoops. Main physician. Uh, has, have you ever heard of Michael Jackson? <laughs> yeah, you have? Okay, well, funny thing about that. Well, I, I used to know him. Did you know that? Could you imagine, like, going, like, Tim Allen going to, like, some hodunk, like, town and they like cook his eggs wrong or some stupid bullshit like that. And then he goes, he just, he just, uh, he just turns, to, hey, what's with the eggs? And they go, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, sir. Sir, I'm more than just that. Um, sorry, what? <laughs> you don't know who I am. Um, uh, um, does Buzz Lightyear ring a bell? Like, I wonder if, like, actors have ever used their, like, childhood, like, their, like, child characters as, like, a, uh, uh an intimidation move. Definitely, dude. Definitely. I, do you I, have I bet, any idea who I voiced? I bet actors do that shit all the time. Do you have any idea who I voiced? I was Woody. Oh, so, dude, if I, if I voiced a famous cartoon character that didn't sound like my voice, I so would- you will get back in that box. <laughs> they would never, it would never not be entertaining for me to do that to people. Not in a mean way. But just like, do you have any idea who I am? Not, not like that. But like, just to like, if I was SpongeBob's voice, just to bust it out on a waitress, like, thank you. <laughs> or like, if someone asks, like, uh, if they start getting a clue, like, are you that person? Be like, do the voice back and they freak out. Like the Bart Simpson woman. I was literally just thinking about that. She's weird, man. How she just goes up to people, is like, hey, man, you're cool, bro. Do you yeah. know who I am? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, but. I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, really. I like. That. Are you talking about that one video where she's doing it to the guy? He's like, "Oh, it's a good impression." Yep. She's like, oh. no, I'm really Bart, man. <laughs> oh, are you? Oh, wow. Oh my God. Eat my shorts. Oh wow. <laughs> she's a Scientologist. She she got for in trouble her. for all that shit because she was using Bart Simpson's voice unauthorized for Scientology voicemails about events and stuff. Scientology's been laying low. For a bit. I haven't seen them acting up. I mean, they're acting up consistently, constantly, all the time. But, you know, people have calmed down. You know, um, people are bored of Scientology. Well, people just need to stop asking where Shelly Miscavige is. She's fine. She's get a, get, stop worrying about it. The, the president of Scientology, his wife, yes, she's been missing for eight years. Yes, there's been no investigation into it, but she's fine. 
Her friends, her friends even said they tried to contact her, and then she said they said that her husband said no, she's just busy. So no, they're coming they're, after you. Not coming after me. <laughs> do it. Don't. Don't do that. Uh, that's just a joke. You know how much? You know how much they have? They have all the money in the world. They beat the IRS. Yeah, very powerful. They, they might just throw a lawsuit your way. Why? For shits and giggles. I mean, you just stated facts. That's the thing. She has been missing for like eight or so years. Uh -huh. And not even her close friends or family have been able to get in contact. Don't worry about it. And then the church just says, she, she's been, been very focused on her work. Yeah. She's a dedicated artist. Yeah. Think she, about it. She's working very hard. I don't think Anyways. she's dead, but I think she's maybe being held somewhere. Like the hole. The hole? Yeah. Like it puts the lotion on its skin or it no, gets yeah, yeah. The, the hose again. Why don't I make him cockney? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just trying something new. A new accent, if you like it. Uh, no, the, the hole is that place in the, like near Riverside, where it's that, it's like that compound of the trailers. Is that the where, like, where they throw the people who misbehave? It's like a, it's like a prison. That Did she have a history has. of misbehaving? <sighs> you know how women will be, right? Did he remarry? No. Uh, but you saw Going Clear, right? The HBO documentary? Yeah. It's a, there's a part in that with like the musical chairs. Remember that stuff? Mm -hmm. Where it basically it's like a detention camp or it's like, it's like a re-education camp that they send people to against their will. And then they're, they're there for, you know, and they're kind of tortured. Uh, yeah. it's which, just in general, just a very manipulative. Uh, it's literally, it's, it's, it's legal club. and it's there right now. This club. And that's probably where she is. Or... <laughs> Let's just say maybe she uh, got in touch with Michael Jackson's doctor, you know. <laughs> Such a poor taste. What is? <laughs> what do you mean? This, this poor woman's life. No, She's dude, probably gone through so much mental trauma. I, I just genuinely wonder where she is. It's crazy. <laughs> and, but like no one, the, the thing that's fucked up is that no one will, like no one looks into it. Just because psychology is so scary. If you care so much. Am I going to, I'm going to Let's do a super mega series. <laughs> I, I I didn't say super mega. Like you don't want to help. I feel me. like you need a. You don't want to help me find this missing woman. Well, I feel like you, you know you after ouch. What can you possibly do? And I feel like this is the only next best thing. I'm 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 seeking the the first uh, feature. Yes, from Shelly Miss Cabbage. Yeah, in a, in a commercial song. So I need to get in touch with her really bad. <laughs> oh God, dude, are they gonna? Are they going to look in our windows at night now? We live in the city of Scientology. I know. Someone in my neighborhood, uh, right down the street from me, has a huge Scientology magnet on their car. So, you know. It is interesting because they do feed off of, like, the one, like your neighbor. They feed off of them to, uh, I guess, keep the people like Tom happy. Keep the higher ups happy. I just, that's why I can't watch Tom. Like he's in one of my favorite movies, but like, I still have a hard time kind of, uh, getting over the fact, like after all the things I've heard about him. Yeah. I have the same thing with little bill. Oh my God. Yeah. That, that was a hard one for me too. But basically. I can't watch that show. Now. I used to watch it all the time. I can't watch that shit at all, man. Knowing, knowing what little bill does when he grows up, it just completely ruins it. It's the season to curl up, sleep in, and get cozy, which means you can't go wrong giving comfy gifts for the holidays. And with Purple, you can give the gift of comfort and great sleep to everyone on your list. Purple is a sleep company that's been innovating comfort for over 15 years with their proprietary Purple Grid technology. Purple's best-selling Harmony Pillow is made with their signature grid and provides absolute airflow. It's the perfect gift to help keep the hottest of heads cool. Purple recently sent us some of these pillows, and it was fantastic because I've been sleeping with a wooden frame pillow, and that's no comfortable. Mm -mm. Wrapping a mattress in Purple's silky soft, breathable sheets will have every sleeper wanting to hit the snooze button even more. Whether you're working in an office or at a kitchen table, sitting all day no longer has to be a pain in the mm -mm. Purple seat cushions offer no pressure support and keep you comfortably cool. And for the little ones, Purple's Kids Collection has all the essentials to help them dream big. They'll wake up feeling merry and bright every day having slept on the super soft, moisture-wicking kid sheets. Uh, your, your smaller sleepers won't stir at night when they have the, the, the cradling support of the kids' pillow, which I'm sure is very comfortable. But I'm an adult, so I use a big boy pillow. 
But the kids' pillow is made of the same grid technology, so I'm, it's just as comfortable. But for your smaller baby heads. I finally threw out my wooden pillows, and these pillows are so superior. I gotta tell you, man, that grid technology feels real nice on my face. Yeah, compared to that block of cement I was using. <sighs> Woo! Give the gift of comfort and great sleep with Purple. Go to purple.com slash supermega10 and use promo code supermega10. For a limited time, you'll get 10% off any order of $200 or more. That's purple.com slash supermega10, promo code supermega10 for 10% off any order of $200 or more. Terms apply. Oof. Oh, I love shaving my legs. Oh, I do too, Ryan, but Ryan, is there a better way I could be doing this? Yes. With a product. With a product? Yeah, called Harry's. <gasps> Harry's is an incredible, incredible razor company that makes the most tight blades. And you get the closest, cleanest shave. I use it on my face. Ryan uses it on his legs. And it is fantastic. They source their steel from Sweden and own the entire manufacturing process from R&D to the factory floor. This allows them to keep prices low. Not to mention... They have, they have new, sharper blades. Harry's is delivering their sharpest shave ever, and they aren't raising prices. Their new blades are so sharp that guys shaving four times a week reported that with Harry's new blades, their eighth shave was as smooth as their first. They confidently stand by their blades with a 100% money-back guarantee on harrys.com. It's available online or in-store wherever you shop. So Harry's has a great offer for listeners of Super Mega. New U.S. customers can redeem a Harry's trial set at harrys.com slash super mega for just three bucks. You'll get a five blade razor featuring their new sharper blades, a weighted ergonomic handle, foaming shave gel with aloe, and a travel cover to protect your blade when you're on the go. Just go to harrys.com slash super mega and redeem your trial offer today. Again, Matt, what is That's that? harrys.com slash super mega and I love using it on my face. And my legs. <laughs> Is it Lil Bill? Little Bill. Little Bill. Uh, <laughs> Lil Bill. <laughs> hey, Lil Bill. Maybe it is. No, it's Little is Bill. Is it Lil Bill or it's Little, Little Bill? Bill. I, I'm thinking of the na like the logo, and I, I don't think of Lil. I think of Little. I think. Well, think I think longer. of Little Bill too. But you know, you don't say Lil Wayne. You say Little Wayne. Say Lil Wayne. No, you say Little Wayne. No, you don't. Yes, you do. Not if you know his name. It's pronounced Lil Wayne. It's pronounced Lil Wayne. It's how it's spelled, spelled. L-I-L, but it, it's it's pronounced Little Wayne. Well, I'm not going to pronounce it like that. Well, yes, you sh yes, you are. <laughs> he, 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 sh he should. I know he may. He He's like, oh, the name doesn't look as cool if, if it's spelled Little. But, but it's but Imagine if it was Stuart Lil. <laughs> Stuart Lil? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Stuart Lil. <laughs> Lil? No, I, I just I just wanted to. No, I don't think it's a surprise they got a white mouse. Is all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I I, I want to. I really want to just convince some impressionable youth out there that it's just it is Lil Wayne instead of Lil Wayne. So they just start. Are you trying to gaslight me? I was, yeah, yeah. But I was also trying to gaslight the audience too. Like, <laughs> oh no, it's Lil Wayne. No, I heard on a podcast it's actually Lil Wayne. <laughs> Little Marlon Wayne. <laughs> Little yeah. Marlon. You know? Yeah. You know? Him? That guy? Like the Waynes brothers? Like Marlon Wayne? And uh, what's the other What's what's the other one? I don't know. There's a bunch of them. There's like three of them? Four it's of one them? Of them? It was one of them in Big Mama's house? Maybe. one of Two of them are in uh, Little Man. Okay, yeah. I feel like those were definitely made by the same people. Big Mama's house and li li Little Man? <laughs> little Man. Do you remember Little Man? Yeah, why? why did you see Little Man in theaters no, like did I you? did? Oh, you saw it in theaters? I saw Little Man in theaters, baby. Damn. If I could go back in time. Did you see The Pacifier in theaters? With Dwayne The Rock Johnson? No. With, with Vin, Vin Diesel? Diesel? No, I didn't see that. I watched that one at my cousin's house in Seattle years ago. Did you see Sharkboy and Lava Girl? Of course I saw Sharkboy and Lava Girl Did you see what's going on now? Yeah. The new one? Yeah. We Could Be Heroes? How come Taylor Lautner's not in it? What has he been in? That would be great for his career. It's like, honestly, when these stars... It would, make him, it, it would honestly have made him way more popular. Oh, yeah. With, with these child stars go back and reconnect, like, in a, in a like, on-the-nose way. Like, I, Rebecca Black is big again. Dude, I remember he was in one of the most fucking awful, most unforgettable movies, Taylor Lautner. It was, like, after the Twilight shit ended and, you know, they all started doing their separate projects. Well... He, of course, went into action movies because he looks the way he does. Yeah, he's handsome. Yeah. And it was just so fucking bad. It was just like about some kid. And I think the guy who played Malfoy's dad played his dad or played someone in it. I, dude, I can't fucking remember. It's like, essentially, it's like, 
I'm a, I'm gonna I'm a secret agent now because I I do I can't even fucking remember the plot. I gotta I gotta remember. Let me see if I can find the name to this movie. Think of the most generic action movie name and let's see if it if it can come any close to the actual title. Think Cold of it as just steel. Wait, what what did you just say? Cold steel. Cold steel. Okay. Or like uh or I, just like a single word that's or it might very, be his name. Like it's not a very common it's not a very common word like uh um hold on. Holy shit. It's just literally called abduction. Yeah, I was about to say it's like it's like just a word like that where it's like it's like just a abduction or uh I guess he's not a secret agent. I can't remember what the fuck happened in this movie. Wait, is this the movie I'm thinking of? Critical. Where's Where's the Malfoy dad? Did I place him in another movie? Did you, did you, oh yeah, there he is. Jason Isaacs plays Kevin. He's on a Malfoy's on cameo now. Is he? And so is Aaron Hansen and Daniel Avedan. What about Ninja Brian? I tried to get you a cameo from Danny, giving you some advice, but uh, it wouldn't go through. And yesterday I ordered you a cameo from Chuck Norris and he canceled it. What? Why? <laughs> I guess he didn't want to say what I told him <laughs> what, what did you What did you tell him? I don't say? remember. It wasn't even bad or anything. <laughs> I, think, I think it was just like, he's like, mm, I'm not doing this <laughs> Dude, what if you just started, we just, because Danny would be like, well, joke's on them. They're paying me. But we just like paid him just to say stupid shit. Like. He wouldn't even know it's from us. No, we make it very obvious it is us. I got one from Jack's Films for myself, <laughs> where I made it. I, well, I included a video of myself with it, asking for a cameo, just on like, uh, just congratulating me. <laughs> I was gonna post it, but I forgot. But I really, man, I, I, I think I should get a cameo from Danny right now. Would okay. you like that? Yeah. For you. <sighs> you can you buy one right now? I can go and buy one right now. And if he does it, we can play it on the podcast. Yeah. Not now, but of course. At the, at the very end. Or maybe, people... no, I, who knows if he'll get it in by then. It might have to wait till next episode. Yeah, we'll start the next episode with it. You know, how, how's that? If he doesn't cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is, this is, I don't, I don't know if this is bad, but I'm going to say that, um, Oh, God. <laughs> hold on. For a friend to Grandma <laughs> Joe. No, to to Grandma Joe Jackson. Yeah. No, no, no. Sorry. To Mima. To dude, that's actually my grandmother, Mima. No, Mima. Yeah, it's the same shit though. Select like this occasion. Uh, I'm gonna say. Uh pep talk and pronoun she her and and the instructions is i'm gonna say uh my mima recently she found out she's going bald <laughs> recently she found out she's going bald and has so she's been looking for wigs been really upset <laughs> she's looking for wigs and, as I type this, and is so say as I type this, she's looking for wigs as I type this, and is so inspired by yours. <laughs> <laughs> Could you maybe give her a few words of encouragement? Okay, so read it out. All right. My Mima, believe it or not, has been a fan of Ninja Sex Party since it began. Recently, she found out she's been going bald and has been really upset. She's looking for wigs as I type this and is inspired by yours. You give her a few <laughs> I think that's a dead giveaway. He won't do it if you keep that part in. Yes, you he will. No, he yes, won't. He will. No, yes, he, he will. won't. No, he won't, Matt. You know he won't. I know he will. <laughs> like yours. Because he might just think it's like a, a very innocent. <laughs> oh, wait, I got to change my name. It says it's from Matt Watson. <laughs> I still think he's going to decline it because of that. He might not even realize it's me, man. I think the like yours comment. <laughs> he might just think that she actually thinks. All right. So you requested booked. <laughs> Come on. Talent. Re he's not going to. Re Talent requested. Dan Avedan. Video for me. <laughs> he's not going to accept that shit. We'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna get a video where he's sitting there in his little, <laughs> his little New York Giants beanie <laughs> in his closet. I think. Wait, how many videos does he have just uploaded? 
<laughs> they all look like the same thumbnail. Wait, are they? Do, do you upload like your personal like? No, you can let it be public if you when I like when I when I book my zipper X Y Z. Wait, uh, when, when, when you, you book when so like all of your awkward like little like hey can just be saved for the public. It's just there. It's kind of like TikTok. If just the for, person that books it allows it. So I said no. But a lot of them did. A lot of them did. So it's like, here, let me just, let's see, let's see, let's see what Danny's third most recent one is real quick. Uh, here we go. Let's see. For Doug. Didn't they come? Doug, what's going on, man? This is a message from myself and Rachel. Uh, Rachel tells me that you're a great dude and uh, you're 24 and you're struggling a little bit with where to go in life. I don't know. <laughs> well, Doug, I hope, very you, personal. I hope you found the answers. Happy 24th. It's not your birthday, but you're 24, so I could say happy 24. I'm 24 too, Doug. See, Doug, you paid for a cameo from Dan, and now you're getting one from Matt and Ryan. So you got the two-for-one special. I'll give you some advice, Doug. If you don't know where to go in life right now, that's a very normal feeling. I, I uh, Luckily, I, I know where I'm going. So Straight to hell. Mm, actually, uh, I might be, but the road is going to be paved in gold. <laughs> so, Doug, I know where I'm going. Very successful. Uh, so I hope you figure it out. Um, and just be more like me. Yeah. And that one's free. That's free just advice. fall in the lap of success mm -hmm. like us. It's not that hard, buddy. Not that hard. Uh, I got a... Uh, you think we'd be better in Vegas with our odds? Come on. I know. Well, you were pretty good in Vegas. I lost a couple hundred smackaroons. I think I ended up going positive two hundred. Yeah, you did go positive with that with that with that HIV test, dude. Gotcha. I, I just love blackjack. Blackjack is so much fun to me. Blackjack is just sound like a big old drunk when I said that. Blackjack, blackjack is so jack. much fun to me. Well, usually, you're a big old drunk when you play blackjack because they keep bringing you free drinks. <laughs> they do. They're like, Ooh, sir, can I get you? <laughs> and I rarely drink, so it always hits me like extra heavy, dude. One drink. Like, even one, like, cider will kind of make me feel pretty buzzed. I mean, it's smart of them to give you free drinks because then you're going to make bigger, stupider moves. And have more fun. Yeah, it's, it's more fun. I want to play craps. Hey, how how stupid were those moves? I went positive $200 in Vegas. Come on. Remember we sat by that random guy? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm making up that I went. No, positive. you went positive. I remember. You came out like 300 bucks. Okay. Remember we sat next to that dude that we, we didn't know and we watched him play and he was just fucking bawling. He was doing so well and he was talking to us. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he's like, yeah, my flight's in two hours, but <laughs> I think I'm going to push it back. And uh, then he lost a bunch of money right in front of us, right? Like, didn't he win a shit ton and then lose it all? Yep. And ooh, you think it think, was a slow decline. Yeah, that's right. That was sad. Because he was like, oh, six thousand dollars. Uh oh. And we were actually like, oh, OK, dude. He's yeah. Like, you boys are my good luck charms. And then he's, he's all of a sudden he's like, well, there goes all of my money. Technically, uh, and I missed I my flight. It, I think it was like when you joined him because he was doing well solo. And then when you joined him and added another thing, like he started doing worse. And I was wondering if he's just like, God damn it. Do you think like still to this day he's like, you know, I was I'll never forget it. It's like it was yesterday. I was I was on a roll in Vegas, you know, had more money than I'd ever seen in my life that I'd know what to do with. And I I had it and luck was on my side. And then this spindly little white boy comes and sits down next to me yep. and starts talking my ear off about how he's some big YouTuber, some some, some big famous. So much walking in Vegas. I know, man. So much, so much walking Phoenix fans, you know, get me out of there. I don't want to see those people anymore. <laughs> Being creative, man. You gotta I know. Give me that. I know. I know. I know. I know. You're a very creative man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I hope that guy's doing well, wherever he is. And Doug, I hope that you're doing. What if it's the same person? What if? What if the guy that asked? What if it's like Doug from the cartoon? No, no. What if Doug that asked for the cameo from Dan because he's not sure where he's going in life? The Skeeter is, Black. Is, no, and he, it's the same Doug. It's the same Doug that we sat next to in Vegas that lost all that money, and that's why he doesn't know where he's going. Oh my God, there is Skeeter then. I don't even know. Is he blue? Yeah, but like, is blue black? Yeah, but like, is he just supposed to, like? What is he? Who's he? There's no blue people. Is is there is are Doug blue people actually? And I watched, I watched literally what? this week, and I watched a video on them in Kentucky. I'm going to look up look up Kentucky blue I'm going to look up what Skeeter's ethnicity cuz I'm actually interested. Uh what is Aqua American? <laughs> so stupid. There's real blue Stop. 
there's real blue people in Kentucky. Have you ever seen them? Aha, dude. Doug creator Jim Jenkins said Skeeter is indeed black, even though he never developed the character with race in mind. What? It's pretty common knowledge that Skeeter was African American, he said. But he's blue? Yeah. Have you, you have, look, speaking of blue, have you seen these people? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? <laughs> nice. Yo, I have seen this before. The blue guys? Yeah, the blue men group. No, I'm, I'm no, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the guys from Kentucky, I think, isn't it due to like uh, inbreeding? So they're all blue. Wow, these guys are like straight up blue. That's wild, man. Skeeter's like, like super mega blue. Put a beard on him and a hat. Wait, Ryan McGee from Super Mega. If Skeeter's super mega blue. Does that mean canonically your super mega character is black? In the eyes of the guy that created Doug, if he saw it, he'd instantly be like, "Oh yeah, he's black." Right? I guess. Yeah. Like in 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 his art like if my character went into Doug's world, I would be black. Yeah, actually you would. But we don't live in Doug's world. We don't. We live in God's world. We live in the Christ's world. Yes. Where uh where where blue people are blue people and black people are black people. While the creator of Doug lives in this fantasy land where he thinks he can just Change the laws of reality. Gingers are green. Yeah, what? Yeah, he thinks he can just make things up and everyone's going to go along with it. Well, guess what? I'm not sitting down for that. I'm standing up. Doesn't Doug have like four strands of hair? Yeah, dude. I don't know what's up with all these cartoons. Like Charlie Brown does too. And so does Caillou. It's like all these bald fuckers. Did you know any kids that were bald growing up? And I'm not talking like... Maybe. Not, not a shaved head, like balding bald. Because if he only has four strands and he's like really really poorly balding so yeah. that's what that means oh you mean like like a bald kid is in like he would have like uh what you would think of like a stepdad haircut where it would yeah be like, like the res very receding hairline where it's like curl yeah the old horseshoe pattern yeah yeah like that, the old that's jimbo is what i like mm -hmm. to call it got Good him deal. mom high five mother oh god because she, she still listens to the every podcast episode Hey, Cecile. I really enjoyed it. Got a word of advice. Uh, maybe try marrying someone who has some hair next yeah. time. Yeah, well, she did. Well, what happened there? Oh, well, Ooh, yeah. Looks like it's time for a divorce. I know, I know. I'm going to, I'm going to, I've been She couldn't have, it wasn't one of those situations. Usually, you know, like your parents, they at least stick through to, you know, when, when you leave the house. Yeah. I had that. just, I, I, I. I was just christening the house with my presence. Yeah. And, uh, does your dad still have hair? Yes. He does. But his dad was bald. That's all I'll and say. And my about mom's that. dad is bald. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Maybe you got lucky. I don't know. I told you my 23andMe said 81% chance of no hair loss by the age of 40. Damn. Over halfway there. <sighs> yep. Living on a prayer. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Bye. <laughs>